day. Oh, I need the day. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. I can imagine that had you known it, that would have been a song that would have been sung by the subject of today's text. Let's hear what is happening in the eighth chapter of Acts beginning at verse 26. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south, along the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. So he arose and went, and behold a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority, under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of her treasury, had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, go near and overtake the chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard the man reading the prophet Isaiah and said, do you understand what you're reading? And he said, how can I unless someone guides me? And he asked Philip to come up and sit with him. The place in the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, as a lamb before its shearers is silent. So he opened not his mouth. His humiliation, his justice was taken away. And who will declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. So the eunuch asked Philip and said, I ask of you, whom does the prophet say this? Of himself or some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture, Jesus to him, breaking down barriers. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Barriers are those things that prevent us from going or getting from where we are to where we would like to be. Beavers are notorious for felling trees and branches and putting them in intricate ways to form a dam to back water up in order that they might have a place to live. But every now and then, the beaver dams act as barriers, and they have to come down. Fred Ricky <coughs> broke barriers when he hired Jackie Robinson to play on his baseball team. Jackie's life was not easy, but the brother broke barriers. Arthur Ashe broke barriers when he played tennis and won at Wimbledon. His life was not easy, but he broke barriers. Janetta Cole broke barriers when she became the first woman's president of Spelman, an all-girls school, and then of Bennett, an all-girls school. The sister broke barriers. Lynn Team T.C. Kemp, a little short, fat lady preacher, much like me and Phyllis Coles, <laughs> broke barriers when her husband died and the church asked her, will you be our pastor? and the bishop and cabinet went along with it. And she pastored this church and she got busy in the Virginia Annual Conference and she went back to school at a late age and she began to break barriers. In 1984, she broke barriers by becoming the first African-American clergywoman to run for bishop. 
there were still some southern traditions that still have not been broken. And so she was not elected and did not seem as though she would get elected. And some of her friends called her and said, girl, get on a plane, come out here to California, we're waiting on you. She got on the plane, she went to California, and the next thing the Western North Carolina Conference knew was that Lynn Teen T.C. Kelly had been elected the first African-American bishop in the United Methodist Church. She Amen. broke a barrier. Amen. Amen. Breaking barriers. What barriers are you breaking? Or have you broken? Are there barriers that you see out there each and every day in your home, in your community, in your school, even in your church that need to be broken? Philip was already in revival. Oh, I can imagine they were singing some of the good old songs. I can imagine they were having a Holy Ghost good time. I can imagine folk were standing up testifying and saying what all God had done for them. Philip was right there in the middle of it. And then all of a sudden, God sent Philip a text message. Go toward Gaza, the desert. Now wait a minute, why, why would you want me to go there? There's nothing there. I'm here at a church full of people. We're having a good time. Why do you want me to go there? Because there are barriers that need to be broken. Philip gets up and he goes where God directs him and he sees this Ethiopian eunuch. First of all, he was definitely not like Philip. He was different in more ways than one. But Philip did not have time to pull out all of his prejudices. Philip did not have time to pull out all of his animosities. Philip was on a mission from God. And when you're going for God, you leave that other mess behind. Amen. Amen. Philip went and asked the man, do you understand what you're reading? And he says, how can I, unless somebody tells me? That was the opportunity that God had sent Philip there for to break down a barrier. The man did not understand what he meant or even who he was speaking of. Like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter and he was silent. The writer was not talking about Isaiah. The writer was talking about Jesus the Christ. Amen. You see, my brothers and sisters, there is a barrier between us and God. Yeah. It's called sin. I don't care how you dress it up, dress it down, it's still sin. Let, 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 let me tell you like this. Back in the day, the cowboys, the good cowboys wore a white hat. The bad cowboys wore a black hat. The good cowboys rode a white horse. The bad cowboys rode a black horse. And I don't know how it got in the kitchen, but a good cake was an angel food cake. And a bad cake was a devil's food cake. And I don't know how they figured this out, but a black lie was the biggest lie you could ever take. But the little white lie wasn't so bad. A lie is a lie, I don't care what color it is. in our relationship is a barrier between us and the God of our creation. You see, God knew that you and I would not be able to break that barrier down. You and I, in and of ourselves, 
could do nothing to destroy it. So he sent Jesus in time to die on the cross so that our sins would be forgiven and the barriers would be broken down for all of us. We need to be about the business of breaking down barriers. I know there's somebody on your job has a barrier in front of them. You see it every day you walk in there. Mm -hmm. And every day it gets higher and higher when you can say, do you understand what you read? I know it's school. There are barriers between the boys and the girls in your classroom and some of them don't act so right, but What's wrong with reaching out to them to break down barriers of loneliness, mm -hmm. break down barriers of insecurity, break down barriers of fear, break down barriers of feeling different from the other students? Well, we got some folk in our houses. Hello. Mm -hmm. Barriers that keep us from responding to one another with a kind word. I watched a commercial the other day. Got the daddy sitting on the couch and one girl on this end and one girl on that end. They sitting on the same couch texting to each other. I'm glad it was them. And I'm glad it was that daddy because I was going through that and took AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and all the rest. Talk to each other. See what it is you and I who profess to know God can do to break down the barriers in the lives of God's children. You see, Philip did as God had commanded. And as they came to a body of water, the Ethiopian eunuch said, Here's some water. What prevents me from being baptized? Y'all know how we want to do. Well, let me see when the pastor can do it. Oh, uh, ooh, that's full. Let's see. Mm, well, he's got, ooh, gee, I don't know. He's got the third Sunday in November. At four, no, not four. Could, could you come between 4.30 and 5? He could get you there. That's how we do it. And, and uh, you have to be of a certain status in order to get baptized in him. We don't use our water on just anybody. You, you, you have to be a, a, of a certain class in order to get baptized in him. You have to know somebody. Well, I don't know about you, but all of us in here are the know somebody Amen. who knows somebody. Amen. Amen. Preach. Can I not be baptized now? And he was. And he went on his way, a happy man, because the barriers had been broken. What barriers are you breaking? So be it, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit. Will you turn in your...